right, good morning. Today we're going to be reading The Very Bad Bunny. PJ Funny Bunny did not mean to be bad, but sometimes he could not help it. Sounded familiar with somebody, huh? Mm. <clears throat> One morning, he spilled pancake syrup all over the kitchen floor. His sisters called him a bad bunny. PJ said he was sorry. He did not mean to spill the syrup. PJ did not mean to tangle up his brother's yo-yo either, or cut up the newspaper before his father read it. or invite his friends to lunch without asking his mother. Hmm. I am sorry, said PJ, but PJ's mother sent him to his room anyway. That made PJ angry. He threw his pillow out the window. This time PJ did mean to be bad. The funny bunny could not believe it. They had never seen such a bad bunny. Mm -hmm. Aww. Pages aren't cooperating today. Then one day, PJ's little cousin, Binky, came to visit. Now, be good bunnies and go out and play, said PJ's mom. So PJ and Binky ran out to play. But Binky was not a good bunny. He threw PJ's best ball into the lake. Oh. PJ's evil twin. Then he tossed PJ's cowboy hat into a tree and broke PJ's baseball bat. He even let go of PJ's balloon. Pinky never once said he was sorry. Then he took the wheels off PJ's bike. That does it, said PJ. I'm taking you back to the house. But Binky was just as bad in the house. First, he glued all of PJ's checkers together. Then he ate the last cookie in the cookie jar. He painted bunnies all over the living room wall. He put his bubble gum in a chair and he locked everyone out of the house. Oh, a child needs a whooping. The funny bunnies could not believe it. They had never seen such a bad bunny. Finally, it was time for Binky to go home. Everyone was so happy. Happy to see to say goodbye to him. Now that was a very bad bunny, said PJ. The end. Love you guys.